Hey guys, and I was just wondering, is this good? This is a Lego set, and is it a good one? Let's find out. Let's just look at, it, at the set and let's get into it. So we'll start off by looking at the minifigures. Um, let's just get these. So these are the Woobots. I'm not sure what they're supposed to do. They didn't appear in the show. Um, yeah, are they supposed to be, like, helpers or something? I, I really have no idea. Are they supposed to be bad guys? I, I, I seriously have no idea. Um, but the minifigure itself is okay. It has regular legs. It has a kind of, like, brick thing for its body. And then it just has a little woo top hat, which, I don't know why. I mean, the woo hat, anyways. And, yeah, it has the woo sort of face. It's sort of cool. Just kind of confused on what it's supposed to represent. You get two, but yeah, they're a decent minifigure. Um, yeah, let's look at the next minifigure. And then we have, um, Zane. Um, this is just Zane. Um, there's the nice metallic prints, little aqua gear prints. There's the aqua scuba thing, the scuba mask. Oop, but I, um, yeah, there's all this mask and everything. He's got a sword, two palms. Is this thing, I think it's a harpoon yeah pretty decent minifigure but just an average scuba ninja minifigure in the life of a scuba ninja you know what i'm saying of course and uh let's um we don't need to fix that do we okay let's um put him back into place now the next ninja let's look at kai so kai he didn't appear in the show he didn't come under the water he just got the set in this, this Outfit in the sets, which yeah, I guess it's okay. Um, don't mind an extra minifigure, but I wish they'd included in the show. Like I get splitting them up to get more focus on some several ninja, but Kai's just one of the ninja that I think should have gone underwater. It's like he's Nia's sister and everything. It would have made sense for him to go underwater, but hey, this isn't the Seabound review. I'm just talking about the set. Um. Yeah, this is just a really nice minifigure. Again, scuba gear and everything. Nice back printing. Um, yeah, so pretty decent minifigure. Like Kai, obviously. Um, let's look at Cole. Also, he didn't appear in the show either. But this is a nice minifigure nonetheless. It sort of looks a bit different. The logo is like in a smaller design than the other ones. It's not like a background design for like for the other ones. It's kind of the same sort of thing for sort of stuff going on for this one than the other ones. Um, it's just a scuba ninja with specialized orange and gold and um, black printing and stuff, which is a nice color scheme for Cole. Nice minifigure. Just wish it appeared in the show. Then we have Zane. I, I mean Jay. And yeah, just again average Jay minifigure. That's for the scuba outfit. Just an average back and. Yeah, you sort of have that, it sort of looks like his, um, like his Season 11 outfit a bit, just in aqua, in an aqua version. It looks good, but, um, yeah, nothing, nothing too special. That's, well, these scuba outfits are special, it's just like, none of them in particular are super special. Then we have Lloyd. Yeah, um, his minifigure is good, nice green, um, color scheme. Look, gre the green looks good, it's just, again... An average green scuba ninja minifigure. Again, it's it's Lloyd, so you know it, it's still decent. You know, it's it's maybe one of the better looking ones because the green just looks kind of uniform and it looks good. And then we've got Nia. So in the set waves, um, she only appears in this set. She appears in like a few of the Europe magazines, but yeah, this is the only way to get her if you're only buying the sets. Which isn't very good for, like, kids if they want to get all the minifigures, but, you know, it's still a nice minifigure. It's just, like, if you're not going to get this set, you're most probably not going to get this minifigure. The back printing's pretty much the same as the other ones. Good front printing. There's, like, little bubbles or water designs. This one, this one's actually pretty cool. Um, and it's, well, the main outfit that she has in the season. Pity that she, it's only in this set, but still. Really nice minifigure, nonetheless. Um, I forgot to mention, this includes all of the ninja in their scuba outfits, so, yeah, there's that. 
Now, um, let's look at this Merlopian guard. This is the standard Merlopian um, torso. Nice back print. This golden piece is decent. Um, they're reusing that piece again. They used it for the um, fire the whipper and the... I don't know if they used it for... Yeah, they used it for the... Um, the constrictor or something like that. I don't know, the boa constrictor or something like that. But, yeah, they, they keep making good uses out of it. This is a pretty nice head print. I love the blue and the black. It's just a thing that looks really good together. These comes in a lot of these come in a lot of sets, but that's not a bad thing because you can army build these and these will look good in an army. I don't... I, yeah, there's only one this set though, so... Yeah, also, also there's this amulet of the sea thingy. Um, amulet of waves. There's that. Looks cool, a little sparkly and everything. Yeah, I do believe these comes in these come in every set, so not a very rare piece. Well, it's sort of rare because it only comes in these in these wave of sets. But yeah, if you buy all the sets, this isn't a very special piece for you. And then we have the the main bad guy. We have Kalmar. I do believe he only comes three times in this wave, so a decently rare minifigure. Um, you've got his back printing, nice, nice, nice stuff. The front is really cool, there's like nice gold chains and everything. Got this bottom piece, which is a squid thing. Uh, did they make this for Ninjago? I don't, I'm not sure. If they did, it's cool. Maybe they got it, they used it for like Atlantis or something like that. I don't know if this is new or not. If it is, it's cool. If it's not, well, it's still a cool piece. The head piece, though, mm, I don't know if this is dual molded with blue. It may be. Um, it's a nice little, sh it's a nice shape for it, um, it's a unique shape, really fun shape, really fun to hold in your hand, and the whole thing to put together, this is an actually pretty, pretty good minifigure, like, all put together, this is pretty decent. The, um, the staff is just nothing special, it's not like the staffs in the show, which is a bit of a shame, but still, nice minifigure nonetheless. So yeah, we've done we've done looked at the minifigure. Let's just look at the bills now. Now let's do the side bills. So let's start with this. Um, this is I, I I don't actually know what this is. It's is it like a cup holder? Is it a chandelier? I I don't know what it what it is. I don't think there's a place to connect it. It didn't say that in the instructions. So if you know if you know what it is, tell me. I I, I don't know what this is honestly. Um. Then we got these. I assume these are like storage boxes for the Hydro Bounty, which, well, yeah, okay, I guess it would be cool, but like, where do you put it? There's no really, there's no really space inside of it, like, you can't put this in there, because, well, speaking of in there, there's these things, and it's kind of hard to take out, you kind of have to grab the cockpit, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to take out. It's, these are nice little builds, though. They're cute. You can, like, play around with them. If they sold these individually, they, they would probably sold well. Because there's one for Cole and one for Lloyd. You can just zoom them and everything. They've got these things that can spin, which... Those are spinner toppers or something like that. Anyways, yeah, nice little builds. You can put a ninja inside of it, obviously. Not the... It's a bit fra fragile, but still. They're, they're, they're fun little submarines yeah but you you can put them in but it's kind of hard to put in and take out sometimes but i guess if you take those out you can take put these in and then um i'm sorry that's just my cat um he's yeah um you can put these in but like well I, yeah i guess you could put these in if you take these out and it's it just sort of looks okay but there's like a bit too much space because it's made for the submarines so yeah you could put these in but that's just, yeah, that's what it is. And then also, there's Kalmar's little chariot. I think it serves a, it serves really nice for its purpose. Like, it's a chariot for him. <laughs> it looks like it could, like it's for underwater. And, um, wait, I'm gonna go, I have to stop my cat, sorry. So before I was interrupted, I was gonna, I was talking about this. So, um, this is, yeah, this, it's good for what it's supposed to be. There's the nice little manta ray, which I think these prints are new for the Ninjago. Well, they were new when these sets were coming out. Um, it's for the Ninjago 
manta rays for the sea bounce season, obviously. There's these nice little spikes thingies. Um, they're really fun. They look pretty cool and menacing and everything. Um, nice little this thing. There's a cord and everything. There's flags. There's stickers here. What you gonna do? Am I right? Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cute little thing. It's it's nice, menacing. I think it looks good for what it's trying to achieve. And yeah, I really like it actually. As a highlight of the video, let's look at the Hydro Bounty itself. So um, let's start with the back. So you've got these um little this thing that you can like orient a bit. This little um scuba thingy. And if you pull on this. These things eject. This is a nice little play feature. There's a cord that came with it, and that's how it pulls and stuff. I had the wrong size of cord, so I had to order on the LEGO website, and I had to write, like, I don't know, I got the wrong piece or something. And, um, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty satisfying just pulling it out. And it's just, as that, you have to push them in to put it back. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice, satisfying little play feature. Now, here is, um, this is the inside of the cockpit. There's the steering wheel, compass, um, command boards, and a seating place. Nice little place, you know. This is basically all the inside you inside space you have in this set. Which, yeah, I guess it's a bit disappointing, but... Hey, they can't make it like a UCS or anything, you know. Can't get that for Ninjago, which is Star Wars, of course. Um, there's a little opening window. Yeah, you, can just, you could just pop that back in, I think. Yeah, you could just do that. And then, um... This is just the part where you put the submarines in. You can just, you know, pop that in. It's the in it's pretty bare and doesn't look good too much on its own, but hey, it's to put the submarines, right? We all we would rather put submarines in than actually have interior, right? Not not really. I, I probably would have preferred it having actual interior and made it look more like the show than well this. Like they could have put this on the side, but not necessary to put them in. Um, and then we have, like, the front, the, the, it's sh there's shooters, um, I'm not gonna do that, because, well, it's gonna go to the other side of the room. Then we have this, you can put a little, like, a woobot inside of it. But, what's the special play feature is, you can take this off, and, um, you can turn it into a mech. So, hopefully I get this right on camera. Okay. Yeah, so, this is... And you get this mech. So, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Like, this is a nice little play feature. They didn't have to do this, but they did because, like, why not? So, like, if you're buying this for um, play value, if you're buying this for play value, this definitely checks the box. Because this is a nice little mech. Like, I'd recommend buying a mech if you want a mech. But like, this is a nice little bonus. I wouldn't keep this like this. I would probably attach it so it looks like the complete Destiny's bounty. I mean, I mean, Hydra Bounty, but still, it, it still looks good. It has a nice little face and everything. On its own, it looks pretty good. But, um, yeah, that's that's what it is. And if you put it back, it looks like it, it's not there that much. Like, of course, by now you probably know, because, you know, it's, this isn't a secret or anything. You probably know that it's there. But like, you know, it's it's... It doesn't look like it's not too obvious that it's there. Then we have this little I don't know maybe is this an engine or something? I don't know. Looks decent I guess. Um we have these pole ramps with the spikes and everything. We've got these things, um got some, this nice detail on the side with these things. These look pretty cool. Um and this is a nice piece. These look cool. Um these look like a nice little these look these looks like nice 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 roof. Um, you know, it's, it does good texture with uh, regu with regular bricks. Um, this looks like a cool lift up. You can lift it up, see inside a bit. Um, that's cool. Most of it is really nice. Um, it was pretty fun to build as well. Like, it's a pretty smooth build. Like, mostly the bottom and just build it up. I actually really enjoyed building this one. Um, yeah, so for the build, that uh, checks another box. For value, I think this was like maybe $180 or something like that, Canadian dollars, um, yeah, you, you get a pretty big build, you get lots of little side builds, all the, most of the important minifigures, so, yeah, for value, I, I'd probably give it a solid thing, of course, like, it's still expensive, but like, if you, if you really like Seabound, this is probably one of the 
good sets, honestly. I I really think this is really good. Like, yeah, I, I really enjoy this set. Um, this, yeah, this is a really fun set. So, yeah, value checks the box. Play value also checks the box. And um, was there anything else? I think I put it, um. Oh, and also, um, display, that checks the box, because it's the, um, Destiny's Bounty, so it looks good and everything. Um, yeah, this is, this is really, really nice. I, I love this play, this thing, honestly. So, yeah, I think I answered the question. Yes, this set is good. So, yeah, this basically concludes our review. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like these like um put notifications on all that good stuff and um yeah see you next time